Hey guys, I got a trip coming up soon that I wanted to tell you about, but this construction site over here is completely drowning me out, so I'm gonna have to go somewhere else. Like the video said, this trip's gonna be about 75 days, um, leaving May around May 17th. Um, last year when coronavirus struck, I started riding my bike a lot more and it just kind of rekindled my love for it. A couple months into that, I started noticing some uh, lumps on my neck, so I decided to go to the doctor and they had diagnosed me with something called pulmonary, pulmonary sarcoidosis. And, uh, it's an autoimmune disease that affects um, pretty much any organ in the body, mainly the lungs. Um, and so yeah, little masses grow and it's just kind of, it's, it's clogging up the lungs a little bit. So I did plan on doing this next year. I sped it up to this year, which means that the money I had saved for this trip, or at least the money I had saved to put towards a bike, um, had to be spread out not only uh, just for the bike, but for the equipment I was outfitting it with. and. Um, the trip itself so bike equipment the trip food lodging so that's that was kind of my decision and trying to keep it not my decision i was forced to, to keep it cheap it's going to be an exercise in frugality i'm super excited and this is just kind of like a, a video log for friends and family that were interested and in. i'm going to try to post as many videos as i can not not going to be editing much uh so if it's rough i'm sorry you're gonna have to deal with it i just after these rides, I'm going to want to fall asleep and stuff my face. And that's about the only things I'm going to be doing on this trip. But yeah, it's 4,400 miles roughly from Yorktown, uh, Virginia to Portland, Oregon. And I'm taking a route that the ACA, which is the Adventurous Cycling Association, um, has designed. Uh, relatively safe for bikes. It's something that a lot of cyclists do. A lot of questions I've gotten are like, don't you need to be a pro or is this dangerous and from an outside perspective not like doing much research on it it seems ridiculous but I mean there are 70 year old uh, people that do this it's not hard it's I mean it's difficult but it's it's nothing outrageous it's the equivalent of a daily ride that you would take maybe a little bit harder just done 60 70 times in a row um, but I'm really excited. Um, I found an app uh, called Warm Showers that's put on by cyclists. And uh, what they do is they put up their home and they, uh, they'll host you uh, for your tour. So if you're going through a town, there's an app that posts all the locations of these people from around the country that um, are cyclists themselves and will let you stay with them for the night, which really keeps costs down and allows a lot of people to um, do a tour um, without breaking the bank as far as you know, spending a lot of money on lodging. My main goal is I really want to camp a lot. So I did, I, the uh, majority of my money went towards camping supplies. I was lucky enough to find a bike that's about as old as I am. I love it. It's a, uh, it's a Diamondback Ascent and I uh, completely tore it down, fixed it up. Uh, so it's, it's going to be a good touring bike. Yeah, camping is the main goal, but I am excited to see the people that are going to host me as well. As far as like the amount of miles I'm going to be doing, it's going to be Roughly about 70 miles, ideally, a day um, here in the mountains of West Virginia. That's not going to happen. I will probably, you know, average 40, 50 miles. And then once I get into the flatlands, um, given there's no headwinds, it's easy to get up to 100, 110 miles in a day. I hope that I can run into some family. I'm going to try to make some detours on the trip to do that. If you guys have anyone around the country, friends or family on the way that'd be cool let them know um i wouldn't mind meeting new people but uh yeah this is just something i wanted to do just wanted to make this as kind of like a personal vlog and uh something for for you guys to follow around or follow me around the, the country with and 
If you're lucky enough to still have jobs, maybe vicariously enjoy this trip through me. I think it's around the 17th and I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, I hope you enjoy.